Hi guys, Enda here from Trendspotter. Uh, once again, one and done today, $687.63 up on Netflix. Uh, it was a three minute trade. That was brilliant. So let's dive right in. Uh, Netflix, okay, so uh, Netflix started off and did this big pull down. Uh, and to be honest, I was kind of, I was, well, you know, we don't get in on the first move down anyways, just let it pick a direction because sometimes it chops sideways and all that. And I had Tesla open just to watch the madness of Tesla. I mean, what kind of a short squeeze or craziness is going on with Tesla? But anyways, that's what happens. Bubbles. Um, and I know one of the guys in a chat room I was in made $140,000 today. I made $87,000 in one direction on Tesla. But moving on. Uh, so here we are. And what I decided to do was I was going to get in on the second hour. What I noticed is that the trend meter is kind when everything starts to go green the trend meter is kind of keeping me out of a trade for two or three candles so i really wanted to get in on this second candle but then as luck would have it it went red and kind of flushed down and i was like right and either way this is way too high above the ema here as you can see right here 361.19 down to 359.18 so that's way too high for me because that's well over my stop loss of like a dollar you know that's my kind of my stop loss on it depending on how it goes so uh, I ended up getting in here and I got in uh, 947, uh, yeah, right here. And right in, there you go. And it went up, I was three minutes. It was in this candle here, I got stopped out. Uh, and I almost, oh, stop, my heart sank at this candle because what happened was it just almost hit my $2 mark. Um, even though it says $2.10 there, there was spread. And then I saw this and it kind of went red and I was like, oh no. And I was about to kind of bail out on it, um, but it went up. So it stopped me out and that was great. So that was it, 687.63. I took half my shares off at 75 cent and let the rest ride to $2. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That was it, that's the end of it. Um, you can, like I was saying before, on these pullbacks, you can take another trade on it. Uh, but as you can see here, there was no movement here. This is green all down the bottom here. Um, but there's a trade in here. So there you see the second downward arrow. You could have taken that short position in here. And that was a $1.10 move. So again, that would have been just $187 because it would pull back to break even and you're out. But that's fine. You've made two wins, nearly $1,000 on uh, Netflix. Uh, let's have a look at Roku. Uh, Roku, big strong move up out of the gate. And then this, ugh, that's terrible in there. Um, and then, so let's say you get in here for a short position and you lose your shirt. You wear shirts, 22 cent. And really you would have been oh, 70 cent nearly. So yeah, 50 to 70 cent out on that trade. So that would have been terrible and mad. But like I say, guys, if it fails to break down and it moves the other way. Now it didn't go up here because it stayed short. You see the trend meter down the bottom stayed red and then that little blip of green doesn't count and then stayed red. So that means that the pressure is downward, okay? So short position, second arrow, how far away are we there? 131.56, bit close, maybe get up slightly higher, but that's fine, you know, you don't have to. Uh, so what's that, 32 cent, $2.40 on that move. But again, I'm more of a kind of a 93, 90, like a dollar for me is enough on Roku if I could get it and I'll cash in all of it. Uh, so what probably would have happened to me here is at 93 cent here. And then when I saw this, because I've no part, I wouldn't have a partial taken. I would have got out here at like 80 cent because that's the risk of all or nothing trading. When it goes down and it just about hits your target, you're kind of going through all the things in your head of you're looking at the thing going, all right, there's 500, well, $490, let's say, okay, 470, okay, 420. And you're thinking about all the things you're going to buy or, you know, the, the bills you have to pay. And then you're just looking at it slip away, going 385, 410, and then you just go, all right, I'm taking it. Whereas when you have a partial taken, you can kind of say, well, I have 187 or whatever your partial is. Uh, that money's in the bank. So uh, whatever happens, happens next. Uh, so anyways, look, there's a, a move on Roku. Uh, this is down to just personal trading style, I suppose. Uh, next one was here with NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, again, kind of back on my list. Uh, so nothing, 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 nothing. And you can see the way these are, but there's no arrows on them. And anyways, the piece arrows underneath it. So that's great. That's what Trendspotter does. If it doesn't give you consistent kind of arrows and stuff, it, it kind of tells you that the move isn't there. But here we go. NVIDIA, what are you doing to us? So that is 
38 down to 75. So that's way too far away. And even if you got up here to 05, maybe you would take a short in here. Or even, yeah, we'll just put it here. So that would pull against you 78 cent at its peak. That big green candle would scare the hell out of me, but it's only 62. And where do you get? You barely get a dollar on that. Blah. Yeah, you know, so NVIDIA is back to doing its thing. So for me, uh, 70 cent NVIDIA is kind of where I'd be getting out. Um, and Roku, really, I suppose you should be thinking about 70 cent as a, I ran a back test on Roku uh, for three months and 72 cent was the average uh, win on it with uh, 95 cent, I think it was, on uh, on a loser. So it's not a, it's not one to one. You just have to have a higher accuracy rate than that. Uh, 66 cents. So there you go. So look, that's the end of that. There's nothing happening on that. We can take 60 cents or so. Beyond did this yesterday, the opposite of yesterday, I suppose, did this today. Um, technically, oh, there's your entry. Okay, so it did it. Got it. It nailed it because there's your first one that we ignore. And then the second one set up right here. Uh, so yeah, I mean, anywhere in here, that's about 30 cents away from that. So it opens at 06 and that's 45. So we'll go 70. We'll go 80 if you want. <coughs> And wow, well beyond wow, well, 320. I wasn't looking at that. Um, that's a move, that's a beautiful move. Three dollars 20. So, there you go, that would have been a nice little move for you. And blah 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 blah. Look at all that. That's the stuff that kills people. And then in here, there's a buy signal in here, but you would have got stopped out. Uh, what was it? 57 cent, and you'd be. You'd be sorry down here. Uh, yeah, depends. 50 to 80 cent loss on that. And then a short signal if you're still going. I'm only, like, I always stop when I see the money in the bank. I'm not greedy, uh, which is why I never make $100,000 in one day, I suppose. There's a 132 trade there. So, like, when I get my, my, my target is kind of three, $400. Three is really low, but 400 is great. If I, if, and that's why I kind of have my, if I can get $600 odd dollars in one trade, 687 in one trade i'm really really happy because it's well over my um targets like 1.5 um so if i make 687 i'm just not taking a second trade you know and it the only time i really take a second trade is when i lose and so i have to get back in because i can't afford to lose i don't want to lose really so let's have a look at this third trade here so that's a 120 trade so a 320 trade uh an 80 cent loss we call it a one dollar trade and a one dollar 20 trade so that's trend spotter in action. Um, some of you guys are asking me about the new uh, labels that are coming on. I have no plans really to release them anytime soon, but uh, they are um, in the pipeline. It's just that uh, I just don't have the time really to go developing stuff at the moment because I'm just busy kind of trading all the time. As always, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more info. And if you acquire a trial of Trendspotter, click the link in the description. Talk to you in the next one.